Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today's uh, subject is about how you see your art compared to how other people see your art. If it is your first time here in the channel, welcome. And for those that have been following, welcome back. And the reason why I start with this subject this time was because of the, that very same painting. I, during the process, I kind of felt a little bit frustrated because I had a, a very strict view in my head. And then I, I set that expectation. And along the way, I wasn't able to feel the same expectation. And it came out differently. Although, even to my perspective, was not bad, but was not what I was looking for. And I couldn't really enjoy the end of the painting. And I can't even tell why. But I finished it. I took twice as the time as I would take because I was, I was thinking a lot on what to do and being able to do less. I started the other painting that is monochrome, that is kind of an earth pinky color. While I was doing that one, I finished the other one before that. And I was still a little bit in doubt on, what, on how, how to finish it. And thing is, I posted that picture and I actually got more engagement, more likes in the same time frame, frame as I would have with the others then compared with the ones that I really liked. So I realized that my favorites were not the audience favorites. And it's funny because when they are not my favorites because I usually consider not so well executed. And because of, of that different perspective that I, I, let's say, received, I kind of changed it how I started to look at my own art, at least at, at, at that canvas. I started to like it more. Call me influential, but I realized that I was being so close to a view that right now I don't even remember what I was expecting. I don't even know what I failed at, what I was expecting to do. I just had that bitter feeling. So it makes, makes me question. How do you perceive other people's work? Most people are going to be probably like me, uh, extremely judgmental. So my work, I want to come out exactly as the way as I thought about, even though during the process I may even forget what was my view. And when I am following other people on Instagram, on YouTube, I do appreciate so many different styles and it is more broad even than portraits. I do enjoy from animals to plants to portraits to even abstract. And I appreciate many portraits that look kind of undone. I find so beautiful. I, I think it looks more artistic sometimes than the realism or hyperrealism itself. But when it comes to me, I don't accept anything moving less to the direction of going for realism and my ultimate dream that would be to go to hyperrealism. So it actually makes me like more that painting, which I am glad that I was able to do it. Now I look at it with a different eye. I look at the tones of the flash and I say, mm, it looks fresh. I look at the tones of the green and I say, yeah, the, the green looks really beautiful. It's actually a, a color of sweater that I would love to have, a comfy one. And I can feel a little bit more light with the work that I did. So what I would actually like to say is stop to think a little bit on how you judge other people's art and how you judge yourself and take easy on yourself. Maybe we get you some kind of blocks 
uh, I would say creative blocks, artist blocks. Uh, we feel exhausted because we are doing so much and we feel like we're going nowhere. Especially now that we are in the quarantine, that we cannot go out and do other things that will help us re- to freshen up. And it would be so much lighter that burden if you were just as nice with yourself as you were with other people. Well, we are almost reaching the end of this video and I would like to ask your support to subscribe, comment and like this video. And don't feel shy to talk about how your week has been going, how you have managed to go through this quarantine or subjects related to this video. I would love to engage with you guys. Have a great week. Bye bye.